Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both sensitive and deeply important, why some elderly people pass away in their sleep, and what we can do to reduce those risks. If you're over 70, or if you care for someone who is, this is for you. Sleep is supposed to be a time of rest and renewal, but for some, it becomes a silent tipping point. Why does this happen? And more importantly, how can we make bedtime safer? I'm going to walk you through five bedtime habits that you, or your loved ones, should avoid after 70, along with the science behind why these matter. By the end, you'll have practical steps to sleep more safely and wake up refreshed. So, let's get started. As we age, our bodies change in ways we can't always see. Our heart, lungs, brain, and even our sleep patterns shift. For many elderly people, sleep becomes lighter, more fragmented, or harder to come by. But there's another layer, the risk of passing away during sleep increases after 70. Studies show that about two-thirds of natural deaths in older adults happen at night, often during sleep. This isn't just coincidence, it's tied to how aging affects our physiology. Conditions like heart disease, respiratory issues, or neurological changes can turn sleep into a vulnerable time. Add in certain bedtime habits, and that vulnerability grows. Today, we're not just talking about why this happens, we're focusing on what you can avoid to protect yourself or someone you love. We'll explore why sleep can sometimes be fatal for the elderly, then break down five specific bedtime habits to steer clear of. For each habit, I'll explain the risks, share real-world examples, and offer safer alternatives. This isn't about fear, it's about empowerment. Let's take control of what we can. Ready? Let's begin with the why behind these nighttime risks. To understand why some elderly people don't wake up, we need to look at what's happening in their bodies. Sleep isn't just turning off, it's an active state where your heart, lungs, and brain keep working, but differently. For younger people, this is usually seamless. But after 70, the machinery starts to wear down. Let's break it down. First, the heart. Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death worldwide, and it doesn't spare the elderly, especially at night. During sleep, your heart rate and blood pressure naturally drop. That's normal. But for someone with heart disease, this drop can sometimes go too far. A condition called nocturnal hypoxia, low oxygen levels at night, can strain an already weak heart. If plaque in the arteries has built up over decades, a tiny clot might form and block blood flow. This is how silent heart attacks happen. You don't wake up gasping or clutching your chest, you just don't wake up at all. Autopsy studies suggest that up to 30% of sudden cardiac deaths in the elderly occur during sleep. Then there's breathing. Sleep apnea, a disorder where breathing stops and starts repeatedly, is shockingly common after 70. It's not just snoring, it's a pause that can last 10 seconds or more. For someone with frail lungs or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, these pauses can drop oxygen levels dangerously low. The brain might not signal, wake up, fast enough, especially if it's dulled by age or medication. Over time, this stress can trigger a fatal event, like a stroke or heart failure, right in the middle of the night. The brain plays a role too. As we age, the nervous system slows down. Conditions like Parkinson's or dementia can disrupt the signals that keep breathing and heart rate steady during sleep. There's also something called sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, SUDEP, which, while rare, spikes in older adults with seizure disorders. A seizure at night might stop breathing or heart function, and no one knows until morning. Finally, there's the unknown. Sometimes, autopsies don't find a clear cause, just old age. But researchers think it's often a perfect storm, a weak heart, a breathing hiccup, and maybe a medication side effect, all hitting at once. Sleep masks these crises because you're not conscious to feel the warning signs. So, that's the why. Aging makes sleep a fragile balance. But here's the good news, some risks are in our control. 
certain bedtime habits can tip that balance toward danger, or pull it back toward safety. Let's dive into the 5 habits you should avoid after 70. First up, alcohol. A glass of wine or a nightcap might feel relaxing, but after 70, it's a habit worth rethinking. Why? Because alcohol doesn't just help you doze off, it changes how your body behaves while you're asleep. Alcohol is a depressant. It slows your brain and relaxes your muscles, including the ones in your throat. For someone over 70, this can worsen sleep apnea or even cause it temporarily. Studies show that even one drink can increase breathing pauses by 25% in older adults. If your oxygen drops too low, your heart takes the hit. And here's the kicker, alcohol reduces your ability to wake up when something's wrong. That's why it's linked to higher rates of sudden death in sleep, especially for those with heart conditions. Take Margaret, a 74-year-old widow. She'd have a small brandy every night to unwind. Her family didn't think much of it, until she was diagnosed with mild sleep apnea. One night, she didn't wake up. Doctors later said the alcohol might have deepened her breathing trouble, tipping her heart over the edge. It's not dramatic, it's quiet and preventable. Swap that drink for a warm, non-caffeinated tea, chamomile or peppermint. It soothes without the risks. If it's the ritual you love, try a mocktail with sparkling water and a splash of juice. Your heart and lungs will thank you. Alcohol might feel like a friend at bedtime, but after 70, it's a risky one. Let's move to habit 2. Next, eating a big meal right before bed. A late-night steak or bowl of pasta might sound comforting, but it can turn sleep into a battleground for your body. Digestion takes energy. When you eat late, your stomach's still working while you're trying to rest. For older adults, this can trigger acid reflux, where stomach acid creeps up into your throat. Lying down makes it worse. Reflux can irritate your airways or even aspirate into your lungs, causing choking or pneumonia. Plus, a full stomach raises blood sugar and strains your heart, both risk factors for nighttime cardiac events. John, 78, loved his late dinners. One night, after a hearty meal, he went to bed and started coughing in his sleep. Acid had slipped into his lungs. He survived, but it was a wake-up call. For others, that wake-up doesn't come. Eat your last big meal three hours before bed. If you're hungry later, go light, a banana or a handful of nuts. It keeps your stomach calm and your sleep steady. Save the feasts for earlier, your body needs peace at night. Third, cranking up the heat. A toasty bedroom feels cozy, but after 70, it's a habit to avoid. Your body cools down to sleep, it's biology. A hot room fights that, raising your core temperature. For the elderly, this can stress the heart, especially if it's already weak. Overheating's also tied to dehydration, which thickens blood and ups clot risks. Studies link warm bedrooms to higher rates of nighttime heart attacks. Eleanor, 72, kept her thermostat at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. One winter night, she passed away in her sleep. Her family learned later her heart couldn't handle the heat stress. It's subtle but real. Keep your room between 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Layer blankets instead, it's adjustable comfort without the risk. Cool sleep is safe sleep. On to habit 4. Fourth, popping a sleeping pill without oversight. Sedatives can help, but after 70, they're a double-edged sword. Drugs like benzodiazepines slow everything, breathing, heart rate, brain response. For an older adult with sleep apnea or lung issues, that slowdown can be too much. The FDA warns these meds increase nighttime death risks in the elderly by suppressing wake-up signals. Tom, 76, took a sedative for insomnia. One night, his breathing stopped too long. His wife found him the next morning. A doctor's check might have caught the danger. Talk to your doctor about lower doses or non-drug options like melatonin or relaxation techniques.
never mix sedatives with alcohol. Sedatives need supervision, don't go it alone. Finally, sleeping in the wrong position. How you lie down matters more after 70 than you might think. Backsleeping can worsen sleep apnea by letting your tongue block your airway. For someone with heart failure, lying flat pools fluid in the lungs. Side sleeping or elevating your head can make a huge difference, or cost you everything. Clara, 71, slept flat on her back. Her undiagnosed apnea took her one night. A simple tilt might have saved her. Sleep on your side or prop up your head with pillows. A wedge under the mattress works too. Position is power, use it wisely. There you have it, 5 bedtime habits to avoid after 70, alcohol, late meals, hot rooms, unmonitored sedatives, and bad sleep positions. Each one nudges the scales toward risk, but avoiding them pulls you back to safety. Aging brings challenges, but it doesn't have to steal your mornings. Talk to your doctor, tweak your routine, and sleep with peace of mind. You deserve that. Thanks for listening, here's to more nights, and more days. Subscribe our channel for more such health tips. Thank you.